योग्य आसलो ताणें जायते रिसर्च केला कोंकणी बुकांचेर आनी कोंकणी इतिहासाचेर कोंकणी संस्कृतीचेर कल्चर लँग्वेज आनी प्रोवर्स जाका म्हणटा आमी ओपारी हे म्हाका म्हज्या रिसर्चीन जायते मेळ आनी हांव रिसर्च करता प्रोफेसर दुसऱ्या रॉड्रिक्साची आणि दुसऱ्या गोयकाराचे आर्टिकल हांवें जायते वाचल्या गोयकारांचे गोयां वयर जे पब्लिश करताले इंग्लिशीन इन द गोवन वर्ल्ड तेन्ना तो मॅगझीन इन बॉम्बे एज अ प्रोफेसर आय हॅव व्हेरी गुड मेमरीज ऑफ प्रोफेसर लुसे रॉड्रिगीस मोस्ट ऑफ दोज हॅव ऑलरेडी बीन शेअर विथ यू बाय बाय अदर कलिग्स हिअर यू वॉज अ व्हेरी गुड टीचर यू हॅव यू नेव्हर मिस हिज लेक्चर्स ऑल दो यू बाक अदर्स अनफॉर्च्युनेटली ड्युरिंग द Uh, last part of the year before I left college in 67, Professor Lucio Rodriguez was not feeling too well. I think he had a heart problem. And he had requested the principal to allot him uh, the lecture on the ground floor because he was finding it difficult to climb up the second floor in Jaffa College. And in case there was a lecture on top, we would make the arrangements for him to come down. He knew me personally, a very small incident I would like to mention. I was a boy of 16 years old at that time, just out of a boarding school, boys school, very shy, not able to speak, not able to write anything. He asked me, why don't you write something for the college magazine that year? I said, what can I write? He had seen some of my essays. Write a poem, he said. Now, all the poems which I had heard by English authors, How could I write anything in English? And English poetry, my God, I'm scared even now to write a poetry in English. But then I thought of a hymn of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I wrote a poem on Goa. I still remember the last verse. Oh my country, oh my pride, one can see thee with a stride. Beloved Goa, to thee I adore, may I love thee more and more. And I gave it to Professor Lucio Rodriguez. He says, wonderful, he didn't discourage me, wonderful. Only one word I would like to change there, he said. You have written country, Goa is not a country, it's a land. I said, I don't know, my land. <laughs> And students, or those who are in Nebra College, may see in the magazine of 1964, if I'm not mistaken, the poem was published in the college magazine. From then onwards, Lucio, Professor Lucio knew me very well. And even if I wrote my name as Edward, he would call me Edward, you come here. That was my name on the birth register. But in English, that, in school, they have changed it from Edward to Edward. But he used to always call me Edward. For every program, I remember one program was on Gandhi Jayanti. And he had specifically chosen me with another girl, a good looking girl, to recite some or raise something on Mahatma Gandhi. And if there's a tradition in gender college of symposiums, of elocution and such programs, it's because of Professor Lucio Rodriguez. Because he was the man who laid the foundation of the department. Uh, as a writer, as a company researcher, I could remember him also as a nationalist. One who loved Goa. He was real Moika who enjoyed his shift story. He would love his company, he loved the goa, the coconut tree, the fish, the cashew tree. He loved goa and he is one of the goans who decided to come down after the liberation of goa to work here. He liked the youngsters. He, in fact, he saw the youngsters of goa for the first time in his liberated land. And he strikes, acts so much love he showered on us, young boys and girls in college. And he used to mix with us all the time, talk to us very freely. Although he was the head of the department, we never knew about him, much about him at that time. We were very young. In the course of years, in my own teaching career, I read a lot about him and I knew what a great man, what a great writer he was. I am very happy. I am able to say a few words on this anniversary of Professor Dulce Rodriguez. 
And I also thank the organizers for taking measures uh, uh, steps to organize this function. Thank you very much. If there is no one else who would like to add anything, yes. Yes. Good evening. The meeting is on the day. I won't take a long time. I was sitting in the library, central library, and reading the golden word of 1938. And I found such wonderful stories written by Professor Lucio Rodrigo. And since then, I have been telling these stories to everyone in the general library. And when I went home, my husband said, oh, he is my teacher too. So I'm very glad that this, when I read in the newspaper that this was being raised, I was very excited to come here. And I'm very happy that I came here and thank everybody who organized this program. Thank you. We began with music. We are ending with music. We have Mr. Flores who is going to play for us. giving me this opportunity to be a part of the book launch and of saying a few words about my brother, Lucio, the eldest of the seven siblings. I am the youngest. Our family, Rodriguez, is from Anjuna, we came to our we came to Goa every year during summer and the people of the Vardo always look forward to Lucio's coming. He was a fun, loving person, very social and good at organizing outings. He loved Goa so much that he played a notable role in the Goa freedom struggle. I remember Man Lucio, as we all called him, as a gentle, loving, affectionate son to his parents and a kind-hearted brother to all his siblings. I end with a small tribute to my brother. B is for beloved, my brother was to me. R for radiance. A true friend was he. O is for outgoing, his charm debonair. T is for touching memories I share. H is for heroic, especially in my eyes. E is for exuberant, there is no disguise. R is reliable, so steadfast and tall. My brother is to me the very best of all. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Manlos. May you rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. This is Frederick's permission. We will sit in the audience and listen to him. Yang 
आमी कितेय चुम्मा जों केल्या तो कोण ना आमचे मेंबर गोवा कल्चरल अँड सोशल सेंटराचे त्यापट एक आर्टिकल मागून गेले मांडायचे कोणी तेणे तांकां हा पावना म्हणून लागलो चड काम आहा हांवें मागीर एक आयडिया केली ते घुमट घेले ते गीता आणि हांव जाण आहलो फाजंदाच्या फाटल्यान ताची गोड आणि सकळ रावून आम्ही एक शेरनाथ पास आणि हे शेरनाथ आम्ही मांडो म्हणलो सूर्या देवून गेलो सगळी तुम्ही तुमच्या घरा दोन म्हणल्या सूर्या
ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the end of this truly historic history hour, on behalf of Xavier Center, I wish to express our gratitude to several of you who made this evening delightful and memorable. To the family members of Professor Lucio, we are grateful for your presence and for honoring this occasion with a family touch. To the four panelists who did a splendid job of highlighting the rich personality and contribution of Professor Lucio, we thank you very much. Mr. Chico Fonseca's musical interview provided just the right ambience to remember Professor Lucio. We are also grateful to the young college student who together with her professor, Sunita of St. Xavier's College, came forward here to read a little extract from the book and hopefully to carry forward this legacy of Professor Lucy. A big debt of gratitude, of course, to Frederick Narona, who is the driving force behind this celebration. We are thankful, of course, to all of you, the audience, because without an audience, we cannot have a performance, as you know well. So we thank you for your participation. We thank you for coming here. For those of you who are new to Xavier Center, we would like to welcome you again and again to this place. We have often programs here on culture, on history, on the politics of Goa, politics of the world sometimes, on various themes. Please look out for our announcements in the newspapers, on the web, so that you can come and share with us. We are always happy to widen our community here and to make it a vibrant community. So please come again and again. We thank very much the Xavier Center staff that works hard to put this program together, starting with our director, Father Savio Abreu, and his many helpers who come forward each time. Thank you very much. We are at the end of our program. We wish you a good night. But I have good news for you. Frederick says to me there is a special offer for the book. It is being sold tonight at only rupees 200. So you might want to buy a dozen copies and take home to give to your friends and family. You're very welcome to do this. Thank you very much. Now, Shiko Fonseca will continue to entertain us with music. Those of you who have time and would like to listen, hang around. Those of you who feel you have other things to do, pick up a half a dozen books on the way at only 200 rupees each. Just one song. Just one song and that is Goa. Goa that Professor Lucio likes so much and had a time.
and go with you, always go with people like Professor Dutrudis.